Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Adobe Premiere tutorial. We are going to be covering three transitions that are used in ASAP Rocky's DMB music video in the course of about six seconds. Now the subject of this tutorial was requested in the comments of one of my other videos, so shout out to this person. Now this first transition, I would like to call a film exposure blur transition. So once we piece it apart and break it down, here's what we get. The first clip shows nothing. The second clip then starts overexposed at a constant value for about three frames and then lowers back to normal for three frames. And on that second clip, on the third frame, right before the exposure starts changing back to normal, there is a vertical blur causing a shaking looking effect. So in Adobe Premiere, I've got a shot where the subject is walking and we're going to be transitioning to a shot where the subject is just standing. Now the first order of business is to create a new adjustment layer and then place it over the second clip for a duration of six frames. Then we're going to locate the effect called Lumetri Color and add it to the adjustment layer. Now move to the middle of the adjustment layer and turn on the exposure keyframes and boost the exposure to your liking. And now move to the end of the adjustment layer and lower the exposure back to zero. Now we're going to search for the effect called fast blur and add it to the adjustment layer as well. On that fast blur you're going to change the blur dimensions to vertical and then go to the second frame of the adjustment layer and turn on the keyframes for blurriness. Move forward one frame, boost the blurriness up to your liking and then move forward one more frame and return the blurriness to zero. And then that's how you create that film exposure blur. Now let's break down the second transition. We can see that the first clip is overlaid with a film dust and scratches asset for the last three frames and the second clip lasts for six frames so that film asset lasts for six frames as well and then the third clip starts. There's also a blur on the last two frames of the first clip. So here I'll be transitioning from this first clip to the next clip and we've also got a film asset which is dust and scratches placed above it and then there's the third clip off to the right which will have nothing affecting it. So the first order of business is to set that film asset to screen so that we're not just seeing black and we're going to need to reposition this. So we have the film asset start on the last three frames of the first clip and end when the second clip ends. After that we're going to create an adjustment layer and place it over the film asset for the first three frames. Now once again search for the effect called fast blur and add it to the adjustment layer and change the blur dimensions to vertical. At the beginning of the adjustment layer turn on the blurriness keyframes and then move forward one frame and boost the blurriness to your liking. And we don't need to add another keyframe after that because that blur will last for two frames and since that adjustment layer ends right there it'll just disappear. After that I proceeded to duplicate that film asset and extend it and slide it over so that it's getting retimed and we have more variation of dust and scratches and I also rescaled and repositioned them so that we could just get more dust and scratches on there because this asset is rather subtle and the music video isn't. And that's how you replicate that film blur transition. So now let's break down the third and final transition. So when we look at the sequence of clips we can see that the last two frames of the first clip has another shot layered on top of it that's being screened onto it. But what we're seeing in the last two frames is not what comes up next but rather it's the third clip. And upon closer examination that clip actually the subject is well exposed and everything else is dark. So we're going to do the same thing. You want to find a shot that you have where the subject is well exposed and the background is a lot darker. This is so when we go and change the blend mode to screen, you don't see a lot of the background. You see more of just the subject. And you know, if we have a great clip, we won't even have to mask or rotoscope or anything like that. So I located my well exposed subject clip and dark background took one of those frames and duplicated it and moved it to the end of the first clip. I changed the blend mode to screen and then searched for the effect called crop and cropped in on the edges a little bit and boosted the feather. Now after that I just duplicated the frame one more time and slid it over to the side so that this flash effect lasts for two frames. And then that's it. That's how you replicate those three transitions seen in ASAP Rocky's DMB music video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something. If you did leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, I'll see you in the next one.